again, that's, yeah. that's like logic meets math. And so then you start to see this pattern coincide of, okay, yeah, we can see the big so oh, the next step, what can you do with this? So you start to apply it to real world applications. So if force uh, e equals mass I mean, acceleration, then it's like, okay, that's a concept times a speed. Again, th th this is why people liked uh, Euclid and stuff. You set it up as a, uh, here's your axioms, you know, based on rule two, you get rule three, blah, blah, blah. And it was nice and internally consistent and universal and blah, blah, blah. When you start actually trying to describe stuff with uh, arithmetic and numbers and things, you get into arbitrary stuff that you have to set up conventions for. And you have to have, it's a bit like language. It's a lot like language where you have to have your right grammar and stuff in order